of this. The fast growth in population, urbanization and change in the land use patterns in India has damaged historical, biological, archaeological, aesthetic and visual impacts and pollution in land, water, air and noise. There is a need for a tool which can be capable of complex analysis and produce an alternative plan. Therefore, geographical information systems are the latest technologies or support systems which will produce much more accurate results and perform various geographic analyses even in complex situations. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Corpus. My name is Nupur Raj and today we will be giving you an overview on roles of geographic information systems in EC process. Let's see what GIS is. Geographical information system are the latest technologies or support system which will produce much more accurate results and perform various geographic analysis even in complex situation. It is a computerized tool including both hardware and software for collecting, storing, retrieving, transforming and displaying spatial data. Then anything can be appear on map can be encoded into a computer and then compared to anything on any other map using longitude, latitude coordinates. And GIS technology is more comfortable, easy and accurate and completes the EIA of any proposed development activity in less time and thus plays a significant role in the EIA process for adequately managing the environment. Now let's understand the advantages of GIS. Based on GIS, the digital database has been developed and can also be used in the future and any related information can be extracted conveniently and efficiently. New information overlaps can also be maps with newly defined user conditions. The list of other advantages of using GIS for resources investigation is as follows. First one is GIS is a powerful tool for handling data collected from various sources and different sales and resolutions. Second is large quantities of data can be stored maintained and retrieved with incredible speed and low cost. Third is it can perform complex spatial analysis providing both qualitative and quantitative results. GIS is extremely helpful in planning scenarios, decision models and interactive processes and remotely sensed data used for resource mapping, monitoring and management. Now, what benefits do we get from GIS technology in EC process? Now, the first one is environmental impact assessment, disaster management plan, determination of land cover and land use, estimation of flood damage, soil mapping, wetland mapping, irrigation management, management of natural resources, zoning of landslides hazards, identification of volcanic hazards. Let's have a look on its application in EC process. First is GIS in EC process is applicable at every stage of EIA. The interface between EIA and GIS produces effects that will generate specific impacts. Second is GIS is used in the EIA process to improve the features related to data storage and its easy access to the analytical cap capabilities for better results. Third is developing such technology will lead to a more realistic approach to describing the environment and a better understanding of their interrelationships. Fourth is GIS procedures involve technical analysis that includes assumptions and priorities and a description of significant visuals and audible impacts. Now let's see how GIS is integrated with EIA. First is the overall functionality of uh, environmental pollution control in GIS includes positioning, layer management, marine and air pollution modeling and data management. Second is the positioning function contains coordinate positioning, road and address positioning, landmark positioning, layer positioning and cadastral positioning. Third is user can use the layer positioning tool to zoom in the location they would like to check. Fourth is user can choose the layers to display and mark the event location on the map. Fifth is user can click on the icon on the map to know more about the point like viewing photos, location related to documents, attributes, experiment data and business information through attribute query. Sixth is results have greatly assisted decision makers in understanding the possible extent, area, 
and disaster affected population of hazards and establishing possible prevention programs in advance seventh is the system is designed to satisfy users requirements of data search and export functions eighth is the data management platform of the system provides user with the flexibility to manage data and add new layers and fields based on different requirements in addition the layer management tool allows users to easily configure the settings for adjusting the classification and extent of layers to display the development of a geographic information system in ec process requires the analysis of this process to identify the task that will benefit the project and the environment too to better understand the study area it's necessary to view it from several perspectives like aerial static and dynamic ground views using gis modeling tools potential impacts can be predicted and included in the management and monitoring programs so if you are looking for the assistance of nabit certified consultants that can help you with the report or certificate you can connect with our expert at corbis with the details given below we help our clients with all environmental compliances related to their projects please like and share if you found this information useful you can also subscribe to our channel and visit our website thank you for watching